I, I thought he gave us the best chance to win. Playing with you know two true freshmen, uh, well one second year man, one first year man, and all the safeties are new, and so. Uh, uh, but this is what I told the guys. Okay, this is the deal. Uh, I respect the way they play today. We don't. We we um, uh, we don't play play well for long enough periods of time yet. But I respect how hard they play, how they competed. I respect that. This is the second close loss you've had where you had the ball at the end of the first half and chose to run out the clock. Can you comment through the, the How much time was left in the half? Enough time for a couple of plays. How much time was it? Twelve seconds was it? So I can either try to throw a sixty yard touchdown or I can take a knee and not risk turning the ball over, right? I mean, that's the decisions you gotta make as the head coach. Tyler at all because of the pass that he threw in that first half. But the third period, you guys are up 14 nothing. You're driving. He misses a wide open guy. No. Nah, he throws a kick and then they score. This is what I saw, and he's young, you know, and I just see him not getting rid of the ball and taking sacks, you know, and so I just, you know, I just thought in a game that we're really trying to win for a lot of reasons. I. I really honestly thought Alex gave us the best chance to win. So it was nothing personal. Uh, it was just that I just did not feel that he was uh, where he needed to be in terms of his ability to do things he needed to do for us to win the football game. Where is this program at? Year four, where you're at right well, now? Because you just said you got a lot of young kids in the secondary, and you have a young quarterback that's not there yet. What are you trying to accomplish the last – well, what we've really been trying to accomplish uh, for the last half of the season is to improve and to get better and knowing that uh, a lot of these guys are going to play next year. Now, um, a lot of this roster, uh, this is their first time that we're actually having to count on them to perform to win football games. Uh, some of the guys maybe played 8, 10, 12 snaps a game or even 20 snaps a game but never – 50% uh, of the snaps or all the snaps. So uh, I think any um, time you have a program, what you're trying to do is develop the guys for the future. Uh, we want to win now and, we're, and we want to get them to play their best, but we also have an eye on the future. Is that your call on the safety again? Yeah, they can't. <laughs> Nobody else can call fake field goals here. But, yeah, it, it was well, it was Doug Downey. You know, I wanted to run the option, but he said, Coach, I've run this three times. It's a touchdown every time. I bet your paycheck is a touchdown. So, thank God I didn't have to give up my paycheck. But Doug, Doug Downing, our receiver's coach, really, that's his play. He did a great job of, of uh, coaching it. So. How tough was that kick, obviously, that he had the pick six because you're still right in that game. Right you know, man, it's all tough right now. It's all hard. It's all hard. And I think that uh, you can give in to that or you can keep coaching your guys and give yourself the best chance to have success going forward. Because we all know that uh, there's a clock ticking on all of us. We know that. So uh, my deal with this team is uh, we've worked through a lot of issues. A lot of them are related to youth and immaturity. But today was one of the days that I could say to them, I respect the way they played. They played like they respected the game of football. They prepared that way. And, uh, and uh, yeah, it's tough. But I respect the way they played. I respect their preparation. I respect the coaches and what they did. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's hard right now. But um, we're going to get better. That I know.